ਚੈਪਟਰ 2 ਪਾਰਟ ਡੀ ਰੁਪਿੰਦਰ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਆ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਨਾ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਦੀ ਵਾਲੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਰੱਦੀ ਲੈ ਲਓ ਐਦਾਂ ਹੀ ਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਰੱਦੀ ਵਾਲਾ ਫੇਰਾ ਲਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਬੀਬੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਚਾੜੂ ਲਾ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਚੜ ਮੇ ਸਵੀਪ ਸਵੀਪ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਭੈਣ ਜੀ ਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਘਰ ਕੋਈ ਪੁਰਾਣਾ ਸਮਾਨ ਵੀ ਰੱਦੀ ਅਜਰ ਰੱਦੀ ਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਪੁਰਾਣਾ ਸਮਾਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਾ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਭਾਜੀ ਉਹ ਨਾ ਬਾਹਰ ਗਏ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਮਝ ਲਗੀ ਤਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਨੰਬਰ 7 ਚੈਪਟਰ 2 which of the following is not a qualification of a real estate sales person licensee in bc so what is the qualification that you must be resident in bc resident of bc must have attained the age of 19 years 19 years old for the managing broker or the sales person managing broker is usually 21 but for sales person is 19 must be must have a good reputation and must have an understanding of the obligation between principal and agent in real estate principal we we call to client or and fifth pass the exam you must have passed the exam so which is not is number 2 it says age of 21 years and that is in case of a managing broker not in case of a sales person sales person is 19 and then we go to the question number 9 which of the following are required in order for a sales person to maintain his license number 1 the sales person must be employed by an active agent all the time that's true so so you must be working with a registered company all the times number 2 the sales person cannot act for any agent other than other than with whom he is employed for so basically if you are working for century 21 you can't work for certain you can only work at one time with the one company and the third the sales person must annually file a certificate sign no sales person is not required to do that the company is required to do it managing broker is required to to supply the annual annual report fourth the sales person must never act for any agent other than his employing agent without giving full disclosure whether you give disclosure or you don't give disclosure you cannot work for more than one company you can only work for one company so this is a and b which is number 1 and then we go to the question number uh 9 again so there are 2 9 to qualify for a real estate agent's license a person must possess which one of the following qualification 3 year experience no you need 2 year experience to be a managing broker be at at least 18 years of age be at least 21 year of age uh be a resident of bc be that's true so not a 20 uh, number 2 is not a 21 you must be 19 years 19 years of age for owner of a property you know you don't need to own the property to be a realtor so this is third be a resident of bc and uh, other qualification you must pass the test right you, you must have a good reputation bc resident so the answer is third and then we go to the question number 10 it is an offense under the real estate act to offer to resell any real estate offered for sale by the agent or sales person to buy or sell any of the purchases real estate to obtain a mortgage or lease or to buy or sell a mortgage or obtain a loan unless so basically buying the buying your client's property buying your principal property buying your buyer's property or seller's property it is an offense unless unless a signed statement setting forth the detail setting forth meaning giving the details of the promise is given to whom the promise is made when the prom so the bottom line is if you explain well to the buyer or seller from whom you are buying the property yourself explain in detail make them sign what you are making them sign and then it's okay so remember the word signed statement which is number 2 answer is 2 then you go to question number 23 you go to 23 and 
Real estate agent must never promise to buy or sell any real estate belonging to prospective purchaser. Same is number one. Unless at the time of making the promise, a signed statement setting forth the detail of the promise is given to the person to whom the promise has been made. It's the same question. So answer number one. And then we go to the question number 37. I think we don't have. It's, it's the same question. So any time you buy the buyer or the seller's property, so basically you need to have a signed statement. And then we go back to the question number. Uh, question number we go back to. Yeah, we can go back to question number. We'll do in the next segment.